Did you know that Carnival Cruise Line's first cruise ship set sail in the year 1972? And that their first cruise ship was named TSS Mardi Gras? Welcome to Get Cruise Ship Info and More. In today's cruise news update, we will be discussing six key topics. So stay tuned and enjoy the scenery while you get your daily dose of cruise news. But before we jump right into it, please make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the latest cruise news and more. Let's begin. Number 1. Crystal Serenity ship to sail in the Bahamas starting in July 2021. Crystal Cruises will be the first major cruise line back in service in North America as Hente Inc's luxury brand announced today the Crystal Serenity would start sailing in the Bahamas in July. Jack Anderson, interim president and CEO of Crystal Cruise said that Crystal Serenity will sail week-long itineraries that call only on Bahamian destinations, round trip from Nassau or Bimini, through at least October. The ship will operate at a capacity of maximum 900 guests. The company will also offer pre- and post-land programs with local hotels in the Bahamas. Number 2. Carnival Cruise Line Marks 49th Birthday Yesterday marked Carnival Cruise Line's 49th birthday and the start of the countdown to the company's 50th anniversary celebration in 2022. In honor of its 49th birthday, the line asked fans to help rate the top 49 moments guests miss about cruising. The results, included many signature fun ship experiences like taking a spin on the Skyride aerial attraction and savoring the line's legendary warm chocolate melting cake or a handcrafted burger at Guy's Burger Joint. Carnival got its start 49 years ago today when the original TSS Mardi Gras departed Port Miami on its inaugural cruise, ushering in a new style of fun, affordable vacations once reserved for the very rich. That inaugural sailing started Carnival Cruise Line on its path toward unprecedented success with many industry firsts along the way. This year, the new Mardi Gras is scheduled to debut. It offers a number of firsts, including the first ship in North America to be powered by liquefied natural gas LNG, and the first roller coaster at sea, a sister ship, Carnival Celebration, is scheduled to enter service next year. Over the years, Carnival has grown to become the world's most popular cruise line carrying more than 90 million satisfied guests as well as serving as the flagship of Carnival Corporation, a global vacation leader with a portfolio of nine cruise brands. Carnival's 50th birthday festivities begin this March, the company's birthday month, with a series of commemorative sailings featuring at sea ship meet UPS off the coast of the Bahamas, Caribbean, Mexico, and Australia as well as special entertainment and activities continuing all year long, all culminating with Carnival Celebration's arrival to Port Miami in November. Number 3. Carnival Corporation Executives Made More Money in 2020 According to recent SEC filings, the total compensation for Carnival Corporation senior executives was up in 2020. Despite the pandemic and a cut to base salaries, CEO Arnold Donald's total compensation was up to $13.3 million, with $12.2 million in stock awards. In efforts to preserve cash, Donald, Bernstein, Cruz, and Tam received RSU grants in lieu of base salary for the three-month period from April 1 to June 30, with such RSUs remaining restricted until February 12. From July 1 to November 30, reduced the base salaries of Mr. Donald by 50%, Bernstein, Cruz and Tam by 25% and Mr. Porras by 20%. Number 4. Wellbuilt announces brand ambassador for marine sector. Wellbuilt has announced an exclusive partnership with renowned chef and marine culinary specialist, Pierre-Marie Le Prince. Chef Pierre Marie will bring significant expertise and sector knowledge after over eight years with Princess Cruises, where he was fleet director, guest culinary experience. Chef Pierre Marie is one of just four cruise line affiliated chefs to be admitted to the Maitre CUISE Nierce de France. Working alongside the internal teams, 
Leprince will act as a specialist advisor on the needs of the marine sector, whilst collaborating on specific projects aimed at the ferry and cruise operators. Leprince will also hold an advisory role with regards to menu development, providing guidance for both Wellbuilt and their customers. Wellbuilt provides the world's top chefs, premier chain operators, and dealers with industry-leading equipment and solutions and many of their brands, including Convo Therm, Mary Chef, Manitowoc Ice, and Garland powered by Indukes. Offer a full range of innovative marine-specific equipment. Number 5. Cunard cancels summer cruise season in favor of UK short cruise program. Cunard Line has cancelled its summer cruise program and will soon instead announce a series of short cruises in its place from Southampton. With the UK government confirming that domestic travel is close on the horizon, they are introducing a series of exciting, shorter duration holidays for Brits looking for the perfect staycation in Cunard luxury this summer. These will be sailings from Southampton, for UK residents, around the UK and will make the very most of the summer sunshine. Cancelled sailings will include the following. Sailings on Queen Victoria are now cancelled for departures up to and including August 27. Queen Elizabeth summer Mediterranean fly cruise season and all departures up to and including October 11 are cancelled. Queen Mary 2 current program of departures up to and including November 12 are cancelled. The company said that the new UK staycation voyages on board the Queen Elizabeth will be on sale later in March. Number 6. Disney CEO hopes for limited cruise operations by fall 2021. Walt Disney Company CEO Bob Chapek has expressed his hopes for a limited resumption of cruising by fall 2021. They are anticipating that with some luck, the increase of the number of vaccinations out there and the encouraging trends that they are seeing, maybe by this fall, we might be able to have some limited operations of our cruise ships. Chapek quoted during the Q&A part of the Walt Disney Company's annual meeting of shareholders held virtually on March 9. He added that the restart date depends on the incidence of the virus and the vaccination of the general public. If you enjoyed this video better than the ones I make in my own voice please leave a comment below. I made this video because I received comments regarding my accent not being up to the mark and this is the best way I could get feedback from my viewers. Take care and stay safe.